I'm at Simon Sester Town, home of the Centurions. Have you heard the one about the Centurion who goes into a pub and immediately shows two fingers to the landlord? And the landlord says, ah, Maximus, normal five pints, is it? Welcome to Around the Ground. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Around the Ground. I am at Simon Sester Town Football Club uh, as we start our walk around the ground. This is the near end, as I will call it. So old-fashioned sort of school walling it reminds me of along there, but you often see uh, 3G pitch, but lovely facilities. Um, I've actually come, they're playing Welling Garden City today, and I actually came on the Welling Garden City team coach. They put a tweet out. Um, and I actually found, found out about it through um, another guy that they were um, going to open a few places for anybody who wanted to come along. So um, I paid my money and came on the coach, which is not the easiest to get to by public transport looking at it. So I'm very grateful to the club for allowing me to come. Thank you to them. Um, and yeah, stress-free journey, to be honest with you. Normal shenanigans on the M25, but there you go. Where goals go to die. So cover on three of the four stands. Really hot here. It was, it was nice. It was sunny. There was barely a cloud in the sky when I left. It was warm, but nothing like this. Get off the coach and it hits you. Lovely. I haven't actually seen the town of Sirencester, so it must just be outside of the town. Um, some lovely houses. Oh, this is either in the Cotswolds or on the edge. I'm going to be very careful because when I said at Pershaw that it was in the Cotswolds, I got an angry remark left on my um, feed to say it's not in the Cotswolds. So I don't know whether it is or it isn't, but it's very close. So here we got half a dozen rows of seats. Lots of places up there. I may well position myself up there. Oh, this is a me-sized goal, someone who's struggling to reach five foot six can relate to this. So Simon Sester had just changed leagues, um, we're only, this is only the third league game of the season, so um, it's a new visit for the club to come here. So a really good opportunity to get it in. Gloucestershire of course, I think. So of course, I think. And um, at this far end here, there wasn't a breath of wind when I walked around and took photos just now. You start videoing and there's wind, which will probably mean noise, so I apologise if that's the case. Let's just look back at where we've been. Not sure what that big green building is there. It strikes you as you drive into the car park here, just... Um, and everyone on the coach said what lovely facilities, and they are. Big car park, it looks neat, it looks modern. Um, you know, a real pleasure to drive up to, it looks very welcoming. So just a, a cover here, um, which would keep you dry, of course. What I mean by that is there's no terracing or no seating or anything like that. Um, interestingly named Shed End. Um, a few shout outs to um, give H -A, um, HTH36, HTH36, hope that helps. OM, oh my, Roy Strides, well I hope he paces himself. And one more, um, H&J Footy Vlogs, a footy vlog, oh, that's a terrible idea. Um, here are the dugouts, seamless those shout outs. Um, they're miles away from each other, can you see the other one's right up? the other end. I actually quite like that when the two dugouts aren't right next to each other. Also means you could stand in the middle and sort of watch the managers and listen to what they say. Um, so yeah, a bit of a fan of that. Here's the buildings here. So we've got the clubhouse. Um, I guess with a bar and I haven't been in there yet. And then another stand up here and I thought, oh, that's where I'll go. Um, but all the back row, which is where I like to go. Um, seems to be reserved for home officials, away officials. And I haven't made it to that lofty perch yet. So, really nice setup, as you can see. Um, I know not everyone's a fan of 3G, but it's the way forward, let's face it. Seats black and white look really nice there. 
my only slight it's not a niggle it's not a complaint or anything I just um, you don't really get a feel of the local town um, of the club because it's it's detached from the town if you know what I'm saying it's such an attractive place found here you'd almost like to see something of the town around the area but you've got to put the ground where you can and I guess there's not going to be any um, concern to residents around here and it's um, as I said a fantastic facility but don't take my word for it why don't you come to Sirencester town yourself I'm sure you'll have a warm welcome stay tuned for highlights of today's match and some stills at the end I really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have click on like if you've hated every minute of it click on dislike but why not subscribe so that all future videos that I do go directly to your YouTube feed once you subscribe click on the little bell click on the little bell you'll wake up in the morning and find yourself on the Welling Garden City team coach thanks for watching speak to you soon this is Sirencester town Football Club. Full time of a final score of Simon Sester Town 1, Welling Garden City 2. Game um, very even, first half. Um, Simon Sester definitely deserved their lead, but they got right on half time. Welling weren't really looking like they were going to score. Scored an excellent first goal. After that, they were a different team with a better team in the second half of the second half. Anyway, thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. And this is Simon Sester Town Football Club.